at events like this. Only the bank goes for seven hundred thousand dollars a pop. Does she still give speaker speeches to bankers? I don't think so. I think after you don't have a shot at politics anymore, you don't get those speech gigs anymore. I don't know. And you guys want to run for something for a six-figure speaking deal? I bet you would do it. I would too. There's the capitalist in you. All right. How are we feeling? Everybody, how excited are you to be on a federal watch list just for attending this event? Isn't it incredible? As, as I told them this morning, I hope you like South Dakota because you live here now. You're on a no-fly list after attending this event. Yeah, you're all, you're all domestic terrorists in John Brennan's book, but that makes you a hero in my book. That's all that really matters. Uh, did, anybody, uh, did anybody watch uh, Joe Biden at his town hall last night? It was rough. Joe Biden is having trouble. I, we, I, I, the over-under on when President Kamala Harris gets sworn in, got a little bit closer from last time. I'm giving it six months. Six months before she's in there. Now? Are you not? I'm sorry, I thought this was a big Kamala Harris fan base here. I apologize. I guess I should learn my audience a little bit better. Oh, and then get, you, you think she's going to get 10 years? She had the longest reign since FDR? I don't know. I don't see it happening. I don't think she could ever get elected. I think she'll, she might get those two years in, but I don't, first off, I don't think they can keep Joe Biden going until then. And second off, I don't think uh, that, I don't think Kamala Harris could win an election. And it's not even for any of the reasons that you guys might have a problem with her. It's just, she's not likable. It all comes down to that. Like, I don't, even, I don't like any of the presidents. I, I don't think any of them are good presidents, but they're, they're usually kind of charming. You know, like, I didn't think George W. Bush was a good president, but he's kind of fun, you know, in his own way. Like, you know when they say, they used to say he beat Al Gore because he was the guy you'd want to grab a beer with? And I could see that. I'd love to get a beer with George W. Bush. I'd like to get like 10 beers with George W. Bush. I feel like if, if you could get George W. Bush drunk, you could get information out of him that he's not supposed to give up. Or you would just be like, dude, be honest with me. You had no idea what you were doing in there, right? And he's like, I have no idea. And like, you're like, all right, high five, you know? I grabbed a beer with Bill Clinton. Uh, I grabbed a beer with Trump. I would not grab a beer with Hillary Clinton. And that, like, I feel like if I got an email that was like, Dave, you've won the opportunity to have a beer with Hillary Clinton, I would be like, I am quite sure I never entered this contest. <laughs> How did you get my information? And, and that's why she didn't win. No one wanted to get a beer with her. You kind of want to have a beer with Joe Biden a little bit. He seems like he'd be fun. I mean, he'd probably want to sniff kids a lot, which would be weird, but, you know, he's got a problem. Now, Joe Biden won because he ran a brilliant campaign against Donald Trump. <laughs> Don't laugh at that. That's true. He ran a brilliant campaign. They devised an excellent strategy. They were like, listen, you are not to go anywhere. You are not to talk in front of groups of people. You are to stay at home and do one softball interview a month and just hope things work out. And they were like, do you really think that's the best strategy? And they were like, yes, that is the best strategy. And it worked. Or they cheated, I don't know. I'm just saying, it worked, he's in there now. Do you guys believe the election was stolen? Do you? I, I'm not saying I don't. I don't know, but I, but I wouldn't put it past them. I don't put anything past the government. Like, I don't know, I think sometimes people are too certain. They're like, yes, the election was stolen. All right, maybe. But nothing's worse than the people who are certain it wasn't. <laughs> They're like, a government would never do such a thing. <laughs> a government lie to its own people? Give me one example in history. <laughs> and they think that, they think you're 
the dummy for thinking the government might do that. Anyway, well, the point is he's in there. He's in there now, and he got there. I'll tell you, you know what I love about the moment that we're all living through? Is that the whole narrative is falling apart. And that's the beautiful moment that we're living through. Everyone sees through it. They see the Fauci and Florida. All the heroes of the COVID regime are falling apart. And thank God we have great people like you who never stop ruthlessly mocking them. So give yourselves a round of applause. And let's hear